वेलकम स्वाति योर चेस्ट नंबर फिफ्टी वन ओके आई वेलकम यू स्वाति टू दिस सिलेक्शन टू एयर फोर्स सिलेक्शन बोर्ड वन एफ एस बी एट देहरादून यू गो टू बी हेयर फॉर समाइम वी विश यू ऑल द वेरी बेस्ट फॉर योर फर्दर टेस्टिंग हेयर नॉट टू बिगिन विथ आई वुड लाइक टू नो समथिंग अबाउट यू स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम द टाइम वेन यू आर अ यंग चाइल्ड टिल द डेट यू आर कम हेयर एंड sat down in front of me please tell me uh, uh, briefly about yourself covering the following aspects firstly where are you coming from what you are doing at the moment what your parents are doing theek okay. hai your uh, siblings how many of them and what are they doing a word about your friends theek okay. hai as to what kind of relationship you share with them then you co- we come down to the academics part that is uh your civil qualifications whatever you have achieved in life till now any participation in any kind of extra activities like ncc you can mention mention a word about that we come down then to your sporting events as to what all sports you've taken part in and what level have you achieved then we come to your hobbies and interests that is basically your extra curricular activities and finally we will have a small little discussion about uh your uh, uh, three go- uh, good points and three bad points that is self description as you have it in the psychology test okay please start <clears throat> uh, sir my name is swati singh and i come from lucknow uh, my parents uh, my father is a banker he is retired from navy my mother is a housemaker and uh, right now i am preparing for the defense forces i from about my education i have uh, done my schooling from navy children school visakhapatnam and uh, my uh, graduation from amity university lucknow and uh, my siblings include uh, one younger brother who is under training in the Na- indian naval academy talking about my friends i have a close group of 5 to 6 friends and we share a very uh, joyful humorous uh, good relation and uh, Uh, talking about uh, my uh, hobbies uh, my hobbies include cooking and gardening and uh, the sports about the sports i participated in is basketball handball and kho kho okay wait. what level of participation have you uh, been uh, taking in these sports so in school i participated in inter house and in college uh, uh, inter institute uh, okay, okay. That, that's very nice that's very nice Tell me some three strong points about yourself and three weak points about yourself, Swati. Uh, so the good points include that I'm hardworking and passionate towards my goal, and uh, I have uh, good patience and uh, uh, good uh, listening capacity. And uh, the bad points include that I have uh, a little, uh, I am a little uh, bad at uh, public speaking, which I'm trying to improve, and. Uh, that uh, i sometimes get worried when people have too much expectations from me okay fine but there's no problem with your public speaking i find it uh, what whatever, whatever little you've spoken you're doing well for yourself there is no problem at all so don't bother about that okay don't get into any kind of unease okay what kind of relations do you share with your parents sathi so it is a very friendly and uh, uh, caring relationship with my parents both from both the sides okay. that's very nice and supposing uh i were to uh, give you a situation where you need permission for doing something which is not usual i mean uh, say for example going out with your friends theek mm. hai for a movie mm. whom whose permission will you seek will it be your mother or your father so my father usually is not at home so it will be my mother your mother yeah. and she'll be friendly enough to give you the permission yes. to go out with, with your friends okay that's very nice <coughs> okay uh tell me have you heard of the of the, these following words sagacious salacious and salubrious no sir so. you haven't i have a little poor vocabulary okay you must go back and check from the uh, from google as to what are the meanings because they are similar sounding like the examples that i g- gave you earlier awesome. okay right <clears throat> uh now coming to your organizing Now, since you are the uh, 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 house captain of your house, the principal of your uh, college selected you and called you and said that you have to organize a debate competition. This debate competition is go- going to be with the neighboring school. 
ठीक है स्टूडेंट्स बेसिकली एंड इट्स गोड बी अ चैरिटी डिबेट बेसिकली टू कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट सम मनी टू वन ऑफ द एन जी ओज विच इज एडिंग डिसेबल्ड चिल्ड्रन सो ही सेट दैट यू गिव मी द मास्टर प्लान इन द नेक्स्ट ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स आई विल गिव यू सम फाइनेंस विच यू कैन डिमांड एज टू एज पर द रिक्वायरमेंट एंड देयर आफ्टर आई विल गिव यू द ग्रीन सिग्नल एंड यू कैन गो हेड सो यू प्रेजेंटेड अ मास्टर प्लान एंड ही अग्री टू इट एंड ही सेट ओके गो हेड द मैच इज गोट बी प्लेड ऑन द फोर्थ डे आफ्टर आई टॉक टू यू दैट इज यू गॉट थ्री डेज टाइम अवेलेबल हाउ विल यू गो about arranging this inter school debate competition first uh, i'll uh, collect all the people like uh, the house captains and the vice captains to divide certain teams so that every task is done properly and uh, a lot task uh, like the uh, like informing the other school about the competition and for another group for advertisement another group for the public address for awards and okay. judges and coordinate all these things and present it to the principal and uh, the advertisement is to be kept in mind because it is a charity event and uh, that will be done properly and uh, the refreshments and the seating arrangement the uh, auditorium or the ground where it is to be conducted that needs to be uh, taken care of and i will be presenting it to the principal they'll give the approval and organizing okay that's uh, very fine some of the aspect that you uh, forgotten is uh, firstly you will have to prepare the ground grounds for debate as to what the debate is going to be okay not grounds for means ground literally second thing is that you know uh, there has to be somebody a master compare an mc for the program who will announce the results and also the prize distribution after the uh, the debate gets over okay so the prize certain prizes are also to be uh, catered for from the finances that you catered for clear okay <clears throat> right Now imagine that you are already in the Hardoon in one AFSB. You are here, and today is the third day of testing. Your interview is already finished, so you are told by this the AFSB that you are permitted to go out to the Hardoon city, basically uh, to the town. The time now is two o'clock in the afternoon, post interview, and you have been given a restriction that you have to be back to the one AFSB at. By six p.m. in the evening, so you have clear four hours available. You go to the town. Rajpur Road is the main market in Dehradun. So you go there. You go around and do some window shopping. Have some refreshments to eat. By this time, it's already five o'clock in the evening. So you make up your mind to go back since the distance is quite a bit, about ten odd kilometers. So you decide to go back. You find that there are auto rickshaws available on the other side of the road. while you were crossing the road one of your friends who was crossing was hit by a speeding car and she got badly injured both on her head and on one of her legs and she is bleeding profusely so she became falls unconscious and falls on the on the road now you immediately support her and carry her to the other side of the road now you have got two conflicting situations one is that you have to reach back by 6 pm and the other is to provide medical aid to your friend how will you go go about organizing both these issues understood please start first i'll give medical aid to the friend because she needs it uh, on the immediate basis and contact the ssb center that uh, one of the candidates has been hurt okay. and uh, because they also have a responsibility to take care of the candidates and uh, then reach back by 6 pm because one hour is enough to reach 10 km distance okay so you would not inform them to also send uh, you know some military ambulance and some doctor to take care of uh, the patient temporarily and there after shift him to the military hospital yes sir. that could have also been catered for yes. since the candidates are the responsibility of the selection center while they are there for the testing mm. so the uh, candidate can get free treatment at the military hospital also okay right <clears throat> Now your parents tell you, uh, Swati, that you tell them that you want to join the air force, but somehow they are not very happy. Take you being their only lone uh, daughter to uh, go and you know pick up a profession which will keep you segregated from the family. So they say instead of uh, going to the air force, why don't you do your engineering, be your B Tech, take and take up a job in the civil. What will be your uh, you know? 
advice to your parents so i will talk to them and uh, tell about how passionate i am to join the armed forces and especially the air force and uh, give them the positives of the uh, of joining the air force and uh, uh, i think they'll be convinced by my uh, good points about the okay okay correct option suppose your father becomes adamant ki no swati you will not go now what do you do sir you I have the option of either giving up your career in the uh, the, uh, the air force or and listen to your father or you have the option of saying ki no i want to join and i want to go sir i'll try my best to convince him and uh, the resolve his problems is basically the problem is that i'll not be living with them okay. so uh, i'll uh, give a solution that they can uh, also come along in the postings okay that's very nice supposing your br- brother is slightly strict and he doesn't want you to be going out late in the e- evening with your friends both boys and girls theek hai and he confronts you and says ki stop this this is not good for you theek hai and uh, you should be back home before last night that is by about say 6 o'clock probably in the evening so what will you do in this situation and he is strict he is a younger brother okay still he is strict the the brothers are always very protective about that uh, the uh, sisters so i appreciate his concern that he is worried about my uh, uh, security that i'm going out late at night but i'll uh, make him understand that i am uh, independent capable capable enough to defend myself if any okay. situation arises and uh, it's not necessary that it's always negative that something will happen bad um, he should be more uh, positive and open about the thought that girls are going late at night okay outside. that's why nice okay right <coughs> so swati uh, uh there's lot of you know talk about the contemporary relations uh, between india and russia the indo russian relationship both at the strategic strategic level and and the tactical level clear yeah? and also on the economic front we've been good friends ever since our independence with the Rus- with the russians R- russians and uh, what do you think is the kind of relationship between india and russia at the moment and what steps are required to be taken to improve this relationship at the moment the relationship is good that uh, we have also signed a s400 deal with russia and russia has always supported and enhanced our naval capabilities by providing us the uh, ins chakra and also assisting in building the new nuclear submarines so i think presently it is good but the rising influence of china uh, and increasing friendship of russia and china poses a bit threat towards india and also increasing uh, friendship with the us because us and russia are uh, long time rivals so that may uh, hamper the friendship but india needs to be uh, maintaining uh, all the diplomacy uh, sing, uh, <coughs> single handedly and uh, uh, yes sir. so you may say we should strike a balance yes balance. between our both the friends that is the us and and the russians both yes. okay but there's a lot of uh, improvement required on the trade front yes. the economic front as far as india is concerned there's a uh, balance of trade hmm, between the two countries yes. the russians are ho- heavily over oversubscribed whereas our exports are far and few okay clear right <coughs> <clears throat> your friends during a holiday your college friends during a holiday decided to go for the nearest hill <coughs> say for example uh, you are in dehradun so you decide to go for a trekking short trekking of about 20 kilometers up to the summit summit of a small hill okay so you make plans make all administrative arrangements and Uh, go it is the time of uh, winters and that particular mountain is snow clad so there are basically three camps and then the summit you reach the third camp and all of a sudden because of slippery uh, snow take a rock like snow one of your friends slips and falls about 50 feet below in the process she hurts her leg very badly probably she's got a uh, uh, bone injury a fracture and she is not able to walk and she is bleeding profusely from that leg you have no resources unfortunately you forgot to get your first aid box 
what do you do under the situation to provide medical aid to your friend so the base camp is how much uh, distance ba- base camp is almost about 15 kilometers from your location okay you are just 5 kilometers short up to the summit uh sir first we'll assist her to uh, stop the bleeding by using ice because it's a snow clad mountain okay. so we'll stop the bleeding there and also give um, try to take her back with the help of two to three friends which we are having and uh, uh, put the leg straight so that it doesn't hurt more and uh, we can also try to give signals to the helicopters if it is, if they are flying by using red cloths or flare guns if we have and uh, we have to first take her to the uh, nearest camp and uh, uh, cure her and then later we can go to the summit okay right no but she would not be able to join you now obviously she has to yes. go back so the, so the better option is since you given the option of helicopter that is basically air evac air evacuation that's a very good idea but the point is then she will have to go uh, to a late, nearest hospital down below where she can be treated and then she can recoup yes. the other three of you yes. as you said will continue up to the summit and complete the tour yes. is that right yes okay good <clears throat> tell me how is have you heard of a game called sudoku yes what is sudoku and how is it played sir uh, there are it's like a puzzle and you have to place different numbers from 1 to 9 between the squares so that in every line and column uh, row and column there's a uh, 1 to 9 numbers without repeating themselves okay how about the diagonals so the diagonals cross diagonals diagonals must also have one must to also nine. have the 1 to 9 figures so that they tally okay okay right <clears throat> since you're fond of cooking uh, swati yes. have you heard of a thing called kimchi yes sir. what is kimchi so it is a korean dish is it korean or japanese so i think it's korean korean okay but a lot of countries in east asia use kimchi you can start from vietnam to cambodia to taiwan to uh, south and north korea and up to japan all these countries use uh, huge amount amounts of kimchi in their food yes. so what is what is kimchi so i don't know i cook indian food hmm? i cook only indian what food. is it so it is uh, fermented something fermented cabbage yes, yes, fermented cabbage which is to which certain spices and herbs are added and they p- make some kind of a salad theek mm-hmm. hai and they eat it along with their food basically consumed with more with you know things like fish or seafood okay all right uh, <clears throat> i had uh, spoken to you earlier on one occasion and i told you that you have to find out one number which is divisible by 1 to 9 yes. have you been able to find out yes sir. what is that number 2520 2520 yes. see yes and i had said what sir 2561 2560 i said so i deliberately changed the figure basically for you to go and find out okay mm-hmm. right you've done a good job <clears throat> are you aware about our only uh, aircraft career Yes sir. What is it? INS Vikramaditya. INS Vikramaditya or it is INS Vikrant. So Vikramaditya indigenous is Vikrant and huh. uh, other is also R- Russian importers. INS Vikramaditya. And what what was it initially? Any any other aircraft carrier b- before uh, Vikramaditya? Yes sir, INS Virat. W- what was that? So it was also Russian. Was it Russian? Yes sir. Or was it was, was it British? So it was second hand second hand aircraft carrier it was british uh, and the name was um, something with h i am not able to recall hms hermes hermes and hercules what is hms uh, her majesty ship her majesty service or her majesty majesty ship you can say theek hai hms her hermes mm-hmm. okay right <clears throat> if you talk about ships what is a torpedo a torpedo is a kind of a missile which is launched from the ship underwater underwater and what is it used for so for um, anti submarines or anti anti submarine warfare okay or it can also be launched from other s- uh, platforms okay mm-hmm. and Un- besides underwater yes. right what is the port and starboard side of a ship hmm? okay 
port is the left edge of the ship as the ship is moving this side the left of the ship is called port and the right side is called Star. starboard okay and what is the front and rear of the ship called the deck and uh, rear end. this is called the fore f o r e fore and this is called aft a f t okay what is the name of the airframe since you are going to the uh, air force academy what is the name of the airframe or the the outer structure of the aircraft it's called fuselage fuselage okay that's very nice and you are clear about the role of fin and rudder in the aircraft yes sir what is it so fin gives the direction and uh, rudder i had spoken about the uh, rudder and the fin playing their role in pitch yaw and roll yes i told you about that theek hai so remember that that is required Let's go back and see it is what is pitch what is the role of an aircraft and what is the yaw of an aircraft okay right <clears throat> yaw is y a w okay. you have heard a lot about recent times maybe last one year about the implementation of farm laws the three farm laws subsequently under pressure the government the india government buckled and it had to repeal the laws in the parliament do you think in your opinion in your personal opinion was it a good move by the government or was it a bad move by the government and what are going to be the effects in the future by this repealment is that clear okay please start so i cannot say that it was a whether a good move or a bad move it uh, certainly required certain improvements that uh, the government uh, might have not kept in mind while they implemented it and uh, certain uh, demerits were there which need to be kept in mind by after uh, the for future uh, implementation of the laws okay like uh, the, uh, the like the uh, farmers uh, view was not taken very uh, uh, willingly and uh, the farmer when the the farmers association could have also been taken into consideration while uh, formulating the laws and implementing it okay good and also the consent of the other political parties in the parliament theek hai of the legislature should also have been taken in more deliberate fashion okay it was a slightly hurried bill although it meant good for the farmers yes but it was done hurriedly and so therefore people were not prepared to accept it okay the ill effects what are the ill effects of this uh, repealment ill effects that uh, people are now uh, may, might think that if they protest they can easily get uh, the laws repealed okay. and this may get into a routine uh, okay and so this will become a some kind of a uh, routine thing routine thing for people theek yes. hai it will set a bad example yes. it will set a precedence yes for the for the others for example the uh, jnk the kashmir valley has already started demanding that if the farm laws which were of the national level can be repealed why can't the article 3700 be restored yes. okay or revoked theek mm-hmm. mm-hmm. so that is what it is so these are the ill effects similar similar thing goes for the Sim- citizenship Am- amendment act so these are the bad effects okay what are the last bollywood or hollywood movie that you saw Let's come to the lighter side of life. Uh, so the last uh, Bollywood movie was Bob Viswas. Bob Viswas, I know, I heard of this movie. Sorry. Bob Bob Viswas is is an actor no, or or a character, a character. in Kahani. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. Ah, so it was his story. So it was Kahani, a Kahani, the movie Kahani. No, sir. Huh? Another movie is. Ah, another, another movie. Is okay. Character. Is it is it uh, one of the web series? No, sir. Huh? It's, a movie. it's a movie, proper movie. On OTT. Okay, and who are the other actors in that? Abhishek Bachchan. Abhishek Bachchan. Okay, right. And uh, how about Hollywood movies? You're not very fond of seeing Hollywood movies. No, sir. Hmm. No, sir. Okay, right. Since you are a good cook, what are your favorite dishes? If you are given a choice for a party, what are your favorite dishes, Swati? So, paneer tikka masala hmm. and roti. And roti. Yes. Oh, roti water. roti and kheer yes and, indian dishes and roti will be tandoori roti or plain tawa roti sir i can make plain tawa roti plain tawa roti no but if you have been given the option to go to a good restaurant and eat and there are options available for a naan 
और मे बी लच्छा पराठा और तंदूरी रोटी वॉट लू आई होप स्वाति यू आर कम्फर्टेबल हेयर इन दी एफ एस बी यू आर कम्फर्टेबल इन दी एफ एस बी हाउ इज द क्वालिटी ऑफ फूड एंड हाउ आर द डॉमेट्रीज नीट एंड क्लीन नो प्रॉब्लम सो एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिवली देर नो इशूज एट ऑल एब्सोटली यू आर फ्रेंड्स विथ ऑल योर ग्रुप ओके राइट स्वाति वेल डन यू गिवेन अ नाइस इंटरव्यू आई विश यू ऑल द वे बेस्ट फॉर योर अदर टेस्ट टू बी स्टिल कंडक्टेड ओके थैंक यू वेरी मच यू कैन यू कैन गो नाउ थैंक यू